coming up on Value This with Dr. Lori. Something on this table is really valuable. Stunned me, but she knows, so it wasn't stunning to her. And we'll let you know which it was coming up. Want to pick these up? Oh, but carefully. Yeah. Sticky. Yeah. <laughs> On Value This with Dr. Lori, we're talking about collecting toys. And these are not new toys. These are old toys. Yeah. What's valuable, what's not? Okay. Uh, toy market's very emotional. So a lot of people want to reclaim their old toy, yes. you know? So a lot of the toys, I want you to think about pull toys, original wooden toys, handmade or painted toys. We're talking about these vintage toys. So toys which date, let's say, to the golden era of toy making between 1880 and about 1950. Okay. Okay. So that's what you're looking at here. Now, some of the ones that we might remember is Fisher Price. Mm -hmm. Fisher Price, about 80, 85 years old, right? This company out of Long Island, New York. And they were known for wooden pull toys. Some of them are still wooden pull toys. And then some of the newer ones from the 1970s and 80s are actually made of plastics. Yeah. So this is one is wooden, so worth a little bit more from about the 1950s. Does it have, and it's wood in front, or is that plastic? So there's in front? plastic with wood. Okay, here. so does that diminish the value if you end up getting that combo of plastic yes. and wood? It does. Yes, okay. it does, because the one from the 30s would be all wood. Okay. The ones into the 50s, 60s would be the combo. Okay. Okay. Now, the newer ones are all plastic. And are those new ones ever going to be valued at anything? Yes, it's the same question that the person in the 1930s was asking. Okay. Is this from the 1930s? Is ever going to be valuable? Yeah, wait 25, 35, 50 years, it's going to be valuable. All right, so do you let the kids play with it or not? Yes, I think the kids should play with it. Valued about $75 to $95. For this for plastic that one wood right pull there. Toy. Okay. Right. Fisher Price, All right. brand name, very important. Okay. Then you've got these pieces. These are the lithographic tin pieces. These pieces have sold as low as 400, as high as 4,000. What? Wait. Yes. Wait. Wait. What you just picked up and then threw I back just down. Threw down yes. casually. Okay. Yes. The one in your hand is worth about five hundred and fifty dollars. You're kidding. And it has to work. It has to wind up and jump and hop and do its thing. So made only of metal. Made of lithographed tin. That means tin. that this decoration on it is actually a print, a lithograph, okay. which has been applied on top of the piece of metal. Now, me, don't let the kid play with that. Yeah, absolutely. So now you're talking get, about bigger get your hands numbers. off that. Go clean your room. <laughs> um, okay, now <laughs> right, what about right, right. this? Right. Now, that, of course, is made of rubber. When was it made? Probably in the 1930s. Remember, certain materials are not going to be utilized during the war effort. This particular piece is a piece which has a secondary val market value, just about a hundred dollars. Okay, and All that's right. also a pretty nice and valuable toy. Yeah, even, even though, though it's the, been used. Even though the uh, the tail wing or whatever it's called is not here. That's right. That's okay. Right. So All right. A little bit of damage. Now, yes. this is another pull toy, and this has a lot going on because as you pull it, you see that the little and it duck looks wings. plasticky. Right. But so more or less than this pull toy, Carol? Do you think this one's about seventy-five to eighty-five dollars? How much do you think that one is? It's a lot. Like, a lot well, I was going to say just because all this plastic. Well, the plastic, but also because they are mass produced and then they just make a lot of these and then they just put just them on all. Them on, right, on exactly. Okay. Pick up sticks, games. Pick up sticks. If they are the original games in the original con in the original containers, this is about a fifteen dollar game because why? The container is not complete. Okay, it doesn't have the top on it. Boxes are important, original boxes, and don't put cellophane tape on your boxes or your game boxes because that will decrease value too. Those are fantastic. I love these. Those are the view masters. Those would open a world to kids. Yes, right. These collectible or not? Those are very collectible because everybody loved them. We all felt the same way about this and Spirograph. Remember Spirograph? Program. Yeah. Yeah. Certain toys had a great affinity for lots of people. Puzzles? World War II ish. World War II image. I image, right? but that looks yeah. very modern. So very this is a nice piece. Modern, but these are probably about a dollar to five dollars each. Old board games. You have to have games. all the pieces. And with the board games, you have to have all the pieces too. You can pick up an old board game like Candyland or my favorite, which was called Masterpiece, the art auction game in right. the 1970s. I, I love that How game. perfect for you. I know, it's perfect. How perfect. And those are usually somewhere around 15 to 25 dollars for one if game. If you're out looking for a toy, to collect and you come across it, what would you tell somebody to look for? What you loved as a kid. 
really it really is emotional it's a really okay. emotional market but if you're looking for it i like handmade pieces right original artisan pieces and i also like those games that stood the test of time every kid has candy land every kid had shoots and ladders you know fewer kids had masterpiece the art auction game <laughs> Monopoly, the, the first original Monopoly game, which actually dates to the middle part of the 1920s, sold for over $55,000. And it was actually made in Germantown, Pennsylvania, Germantown Avenue in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And the board was literally a piece of canvas that was hand painted, the original one. Oh, so boy. Monopoly is usually a good Park uh, board Avenue game. even looked good on that, though. I remember that game. All right, <laughs> really interesting to know right. about the toys. And you've got more, I'm sure, on your website. More on our website at drlaurieve.com. Com. Lots of tips there, and on an, and of course, future episodes of Value This with Dr. Lori, we'll talk more about toys, games, and just the things we love, just like okay. that. We're going to hop on out of here, and uh, we'll see you next time.